Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here, and today we're going to be talking about what if every item on Roblox went limited. Um, now this is actually just a little video where I just sit down and talk about stuff. It's not so much, you know, like history or, you know, anything other than my thoughts. Like nothing's really backed up on facts here. So, of course, at the end of this, let me know in the comments, do you guys agree with me or what you guys think? Just let me know what you guys think is going to happen. Um, but let's get straight into it. Um, honestly, I, I was contemplating, um, including animations and bundles because they are technically part of the catalog, but honestly, I don't see many bundles, if I'm being honest with you, even going over their current price range. Like there's certain ones like this, that's 1200. It, it's more than likely not going to go past that. Um, and if it does, I'll, I'll be surprised, honestly, but. Other than that, I feel like all of them is real. I, I don't think it's worth covering. So that's the main reason why I'm not really going to talk too much about the bundles, but I'm still going to address them. Animations, I'm just ignoring though, because honestly, I don't really see why anybody would really go for these um, when they're limited. I, I don't know. Plus, I don't really see if everything was to go limited. I doubt Roblox would make stuff like animations or bundles, honestly, because they've been reluctant about this for years. But Specifically animations, I just don't see happening. Um, bundles or packages, whatever you address them as. I feel as though these have a pretty good chance of at least having one eventually going limited. So this is something interesting that I actually wanted to cover like as its own topic. Um, but I, I wanted to th just throw it all into this one video because I, I figured it would best work like that. So um, honestly, if any package um, really went limited, um, I feel like there would be a, a lot of hype around it, and I mean, if all of these went limited, I'm sure it will bring a lot more attention to these packages than they currently are getting. Like, I, I'm more than sure um, people are interested in limiteds for the sole fact that they are limiteds. Um, I've even caught myself just not wanting something because it's not limited. And honestly, I mean, it, it's not really giving the item a fair chance, I'm gonna be honest with you. But... For the most part, I honestly feel as though most people kind of think like that, at least if they're interested in trading or making money on Roblox, you know, obviously profit, not money, but you get my point. Um, anyway, yeah, I feel like if packages were to go limited, they would get a lot of hype initially and then obviously just slow down, just like most limiteds um, that just come out now, but... I don't know, I, I can't really talk too much about these because there's nothing to really base my thought off of. But now are the interesting parts. What if every existing hat, face, and gear went limited like right now? Um, this includes stuff like bare face mask, which is the number one best selling item in 2018. Um, also includes like cinnamon hair, it includes every hat in the catalog, which is 4,000 hats, Jesus. Um, now you see, what I think would honestly happen is nobody will care about these limiteds that we currently have, like Dark Conjure and Classic Fedora, because they're going to be focusing, like, I, I feel like everything that's currently a limited is definitely going to tank a little bit at least, and um, what's going to happen is a lot of people are going to change their attention and shift over to these new items that just went limited, and um, they're going to just hoard so much of them to try to make a profit. Um, I, I guess the best example, honestly, would be something like cinnamon hair or beautiful hair for beautiful people. Um, you know, obviously items that pretty much everybody owns or at least wants to own when you think about it. I mean, I, I, I gotta be real with you. If you dress up like a normal Roblox human, um, uh, most people that you encounter would be wearing these two if uh, obviously not the bacon hair or the default girl hair, which I think is also bacon hair interestingly enough um but yeah i feel like all of these are going to drop for a little bit like all of these currently existing limiteds as the catalog makes way for honestly let me see uh 6835 new limiteds um moving on to faces though i feel as though this is going to be one of the interesting parts because there are a number of faces that are literally the exact same as one that's already limited except it doesn't have a color, so it's uh, obviously cheaper. Um, stuff like shiny teeth and golden shiny teeth, if I could even find that. I think that's how irrelevant it is at this point. Um, uh, daring blonde face guy, daring blonde beard, I think it is. Uh, daring blonde beard face. Yeah, uh, for, that's a perfect example, honestly, of something that 
since it's limited, it's a lot higher than the current one. I feel like the faces, all the ones that have like a plain, just a black face here, like you see, just no color to it. I feel like these will probably just kind of even out with the ones that are up here. And I feel like all of the ones that are colored that have these copies that are just, you know, no color. I, I think it's a little bit, uh, I, I feel like those are going to be tanking quite a lot. Um, I can't even find the golden shiny teeth if I passed it. I've been looking for it as I've been talking, honestly, and I've yet to find it. Okay, I might have passed it, whatever. Um, there are a number of faces that I do also believe will be raised from this somehow. Um, these glowing eyes, I feel like would gain a little bit more attention because obviously they're the only ones without a mouth. Um, here's golden shiny teeth. I'm just blind. Sorry about that. Uh, here's the difference. Shiny teeth. No color, right? Uh, golden shiny teeth. Whoa. Guys, they put yellow in here. Obviously, it's, it's worth... Let me see. Yeah, it might actually be going for 30,000, maybe even 35. Jesus. Um, but yeah, honestly, I can definitely see this item tanking harder than a rock in water, honestly. <laughs> that kind of rhymed, but... Um, seriously though, I feel like if you were to put a rock, like a huge rock into a, a, a pond or something or a lake and, and you know how it's going to sink, I feel like that's exactly what's going to happen with the golden shiny teeth. It's just going to drop so hard and, um, this might even, you know, pass this. I don't know. I, I again, I feel like they'll probably just even out, but, uh, moving on to gear, honestly, nobody cares about gear. Gear is irrelevant. Okay. I take that back. There are some... Okay, Roblox doesn't do gear justice, so they have really low demand. Like, I, I, I'm having trouble thinking of a singular high-demand gear currently. Um, and then we have stuff like Hyper Laser Gun and Red Hyper Laser Gun, um, just as an example. You have all these spec ones, even though they're already limited, so it doesn't make a difference. Um, you know, generally, I feel like these, uh, they'll all probably do okay now that I think about it because there are some people who probably want them but I, I don't know I don't really see too much in in the future if everything were to go limited for gear uh, I honestly see most of the money being made from accessories obviously maybe some faces like if you buy all of the free or really low price ones um, obviously that would probably do well um, but gear if this ever happens just never buy gear okay <laughs> um but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. What do you guys think will happen if every item were to go limited right now? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, though. I will see you guys next time, and goodbye.